So, have you ever wondered how you can give a bit more uniqueness to your games by going meta and even adapting the mouse cursor to your style? You know, replacing the basic arrow by something that actually fits your game world and helps completely immerse players. Well, today we're going to see that in our modern game engines, that's actually quite easy to do. Hello everyone, I'm Mina, and in this quick God of War c tutorial, we're going to see how to set up a custom mouse cursor. Note that we already talked about this quickly in this previous tutorial of the series, on how to make an aerial camera for a 3D scene, but today I want to focus on this specifically, and I want to discuss a few more things. So we're going to use this basic scene with a few UI control nodes, and for this example, I've even used this cool built-in Godot option that allows us to set the type of cursor we want to display when hovering a specific control node. So this will allow us to easily test a variety of mouse pointers. Oh, and just before we dive in, don't forget that if you want to support the channel and get some exclusive rewards like mini-games, tools, plugins and assets, you can check out my brand new Patreon. Plus, if you go for the highest square member status, you'll even get to vote for future tutorial topics at least once a month. So feel free to have a look. Alright, first of all, let's see how to change our base cursor, so the arrow mouse pointer that you have by default. In God of War, that's very easy to do. We just have to open up our project settings panel, go to the mouse cursor section, and in here, reference our custom mouse cursor icon in the custom image slot. Don't forget that cursors are supposed to be quite small, so Godot actually enforces that our image is below 256 by 256 pixels in general, or 128 by 128 for web games. The tooltip position offset property is quite self-explanatory, but the image hotspot parameter is a way to position the exact point you'll point to with this custom image. Typically, if your cursor has a somewhat weird shape and you need to manually offset the real click spot, then you can play around with this value. Other than that, that's basically it. If we try our game again, we see that we indeed have a custom cursor image for our mouse. However, this is quite limited. It only works for the base arrow meaning that if we have our input field, or we go over our other panels with their custom mouse cursor types, then in all those special cases, we don't show any custom cursor, we'll still use the default one given by our computer system. So to fix this and improve our scene even more, we need to go a bit deeper and use some c -sharp code. To get more control on our custom cursors, another solution can be to use a script. You can put it on any node in the scene, even some simple node type instance, and then inside, the idea is the following. You can basically set everything up in the ready function. For each type of custom cursor you want to configure, you're going to use the global input singleton and call it set custom mouse cursor method. In here, you're going to pass in your custom cursor image. By default, you're changing the base arrow cursor shape, but of course you can also specify a different cursor role or shape that this image should be used for. You can find the full list of cursor shapes in this page of the official Godot docs, and you see that you just have to pass it in as the second parameter in your set custom mouse cursor method call, and you've automatically told Godot to use this new image for this type of cursor. However, it's important to note something. This list is just for cursor types, cursor shapes, so it doesn't really take into account user inputs. Those shapes only depend on the element that you're currently hovering with your mouse in your interface. So, for example, if you wanted to show some custom cursors when you click, or when you drag, or when you release the mouse, like we did in our previous episode with the custom camera, then you're going to need to manually code a function that switches up the default mouse cursor at runtime. Typically, you can do this in the input built-in hook, and here in this example, I'm checking if the right mouse button is pressed or released, and in that case, I'm switching with another grab custom cursor image. But in any case, with this script ready, we see that if we retry our game, we now have our custom base arrow cursor, 
And then, if we hover some specific UI elements, like an input field or our panels with custom cursor shapes, then we get matching custom cursor images. And of course, if we press or release our right mouse button, we get our alternate grab cursor. So, here you go! You now know how to set up custom mouse cursors in Godot using either your project settings or some c -sharp code for more advanced scenarios. I really hope you liked this quick video, and of course, I want to thank all of my Patreons for the support. In particular, a huge thank you to my Square member, René Hitzke. Also, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to the channel to not miss the next ones, and perhaps even drop a comment down below with ideas of good tricks that you'd like to learn. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and take care.